So round three here between Lenny Dawes in those gold and black trunks against uh, Villa Fishpanen from Finland. The Dawes certainly on top. And a shot at the European title awaits the winner of this fight. And as long as Lenny Dawes stays behind the jab and stays out of trouble, he looks like he's going to dominate this. And as Richie said earlier, it could be a long night for the man from Finland. I think it's been a sensible display from Lenny Dawes up to now, Dave, to be quite honest. He's had two rounds of looking at his opponent, controlling things with the jab. But you just get a sense of more confidence starting in this round from Dawes. He's starting to put combinations together, so he's growing in confidence. And um, that's a good sign. Lenny Dawes has been the 12-round distance four times and Fishman and only once, which is something else that just might come into effect. Moved right to the body there from Fishman and tried to follow up with a right to the head. He caught Dawes with a left hand there as Dawes came forward. And, well, a hint of danger and indeed desperation about the Finns work here. Yeah, he's got, just got through with a couple of shots there, though, so Dawes just got to watch what he's doing. Sometimes he's been a little bit accurate with that jab, and he's missed the target, and that's allowed him to fall in. Just as I said that, they nearly walked onto another right hand, so he's got to keep his wits about him, Dawes, and be a little bit more accurate with that left jab. A little bit of blood under the nose of Lenny Dawes. Indication that Fishburne has caught him, but this is good. Combinations there from Lenny Dawes. Maybe just felt at the start of this third round, he was coasting a bit, and he's certainly been woken up. The uppercut there, Fishman has to get away from those ropes, which he does. I think the intensity and the pace is starting to affect Fishman now, to be quite honest. Lenny Dawes has just gone up a gear, hasn't he? He's putting combinations together, this is much better. And now he's asking questions of this uh, this Finnish boxer, can he go up with him? And at the moment, I think Dawes is getting the better of him. Since that defeat to Ashley Theofane, he's had three wins, but it's not that he's just got the win rather than impressed along the way to it. But tonight's a little different here. Good stuff, this from Lenny Dawes. He looks to have moved up a gear, not just in this round, but in this fight. And he wear down Pishman. Two strong opening rounds have been followed by a third. I think he most certainly is wearing him down, Dave, here. And also this left hook's come into play to the body from Dawes, which is an important punch indeed and slows your opponents up those body shots. So now, again, another dominant round for Dawes. Yeah, the couple of good sequences here from Dawes, he's working well with his left hand. Totally in control here, pushing his opponent yeah. back, two or three shots there. Okay. And also switches to the body, body shot there, right hand from Dawes, and then switches the attack by left up to the head. You're looking lovely out there, tell ya. Fourth round here of this fight for the vacant EU Super Lightweight Championship. And Lenny Dawes in the uh, black and gold trunks, on top here certainly against a dangerous fin in the shape of Villa Fishman. Just a sense that Dawes is starting to dominate, but that the visiting fighter is still dangerous in that. A little bit of joy so far from Fishman, but Dawes certainly the dominant force in that. Yeah, and the comforting thought for Lenny Dawes fans out there is that this fella Lenny Dawes, you know, he's, he's a seasoned pro. He's been the championship distance many times, so he literally is just warming to this contest now. He knows that it's still early on in, in the fight, but then he's been 12 rounds many times, and he's just, as I say, warming to it, and he's getting more and more confident and putting his shots together. Yeah, just a sense that he's in control, and the record shows that he knows how to pace himself, and he's doing that at the moment to perfection. Again, just poking out that jab every time Pishpanen comes forward. He's got that to contend with. 
and he needs to come forward, of course, to get anywhere near Lenny Dawes. And that's the problem facing the shorter man here. Big last couple of months for Lenny Dawes, got married on the 1st of September. His longtime partner Debbie, she's here tonight cheering him on and hoping for great things from him. Oh, Good right hand there from Dawes, yeah. That was lovely boxing, double jab right hand. Great um, combination there, backing your opponent up, measuring the distance of that double jab and then sending that right hand home, which is the more powerful punch. That was a good move from Dawes. And I think um, when you look at Peach Pennon's record, who would have been asking the questions at this stage when he's boxed people? Maybe Giuseppe Lowry, the good Italian, he would have asked a few questions of him. But I don't think he's boxed at this intensity before, and I think it's clearly showing. He's a bit out of his depth at times, he's struggling with the, the actual pace of the contest. And um, those are bad signs when you just, you know, this is only the fourth round, Dave. Reddening on the face of Lenny Dawes, he does redden up easily though, and it maybe looks a bit more dramatic than it is. Again, really good combinations from Dawes, and you can already see that the man from Finland just breathing heavy, intelligently goes down to the body there, Lenny Dawes. This has been clinical so far from him. Another good round. Round five here between Lenny Dawes from Morden and Villa Pishpanen from Finland. Dawes in the black and gold trucks and Dawes on top and has dominated the opening four rounds here. Getting to the stage in his career where he can't afford a defeat, Lenny Dawes. 33 years of age and one final tilt at glory, really. Well, Dave, I think you know Peach and he's used to a bit of pain. I mean, look at that tattoo into his head. I mean, I, I wouldn't fancy that. I won't ask if you've got a hidden tattoo. <laughs> Wise not to go there. But I bet he, he made more than one visit. <laughs> little light up got on the inside again. But, but again, tactics there from Dawes, you see. He doesn't want to stay on the inside for too long. He just stepped away because he knows that Peachman and may come back with a few shots on the inside, so boxing very cleverly here. Good work again. Again, throwing shots from angles and mixing between head and body as well. Doors. Sign of a man growing in confidence too. Little uppercut again from Lenny Doors and a couple of hooks to the head. And what Doors can do also here is maybe draw that right hand lead, maybe faint with the jab now and again, just to draw the lead from, sorry, draw the right hand from his opponent and then come back with a harder shot, maybe a left hook. But again, the intensity, the work rate is much better from Dawes. Yeah, it hasn't been flawless from Lenny Dawes, and he does still have that little nick on the face, but... It has been very good from him so far. His corner told him in between rounds, don't worry about the cut, it's nothing. Nothing to get concerned about. Well, that was good. It means he could focus on his job, which he's doing well here. Yeah, he's got a little nick as he below the left eye doors. Thankfully, he's below the eye, so it's running away. The blood's actually running down his cheek. Obviously, if it was above the eye, he'd be running into his eye, and that would cause problems, but it's, uh, the, the, the corner aren't too um, concerned with it at this stage. Dawes looking for that uppercut every time Pishvinen comes forward. They'll be delighted with his work so far. But they'll also know the job is not yet done. Oh, that's a lovely boxing, that really is. Making his lead and drawing the lead there from his opponent and coming back.
Relax. Yes. Yeah. Just gold, mate. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep it going the same. Okay? Off them straight lines. Listen, the one time your hand gets sloppy, you pay for it, okay? Let the right hand come over. Cut. Well, we've seen a good variation from doors in this contest so far. Not only this straight work, but that little right up got on the inside there. And then making his opponent miss, and then coming back with that straight left jab. Lovely boxing skills. There he is again, look. Super. Yeah, yeah. Just keep him up that middle. Keep him being picked up in it, yeah. But every time you step off to the side, you're landing another shot off it. All right? Yeah. You're looking bloody good, mate, I tell you. Just keep it going the same. The feet are lovely. The hands are good. Just, again, don't get sloppy, all right? Almost 10 seconds. Yeah. Don't blow out that nose shit, all right? Give it a second. You're pissing it, mate. You ain't got to Round six. Well, Villa Pistaran of Finland in the red and white trunks is really up against it here. Surely lost the opening. Five rounds of this one to Lenny Dawes. And Dawes, a fighter who normally goes up through the gears and gets better throughout his fights, and that is bad news for Pishpanen. Again, good work. He started his rounds well. There's none of that sluggishness from Lenny Dawes tonight. Really sharp. No, I think the, the Dawes um, corner have done their homework here in, in the preparation for this contest because, they, again, the gun shield's come out, I think. He's boxing at distance very, very well and he's controlling things. But um, we see a little bit more head movement from Pishpanen in this round. And uh, I would expect that from him, that's what his corner must be telling you. You must keep moving your head a little bit quicker and try and whip the shots over the top. But he is a tough cookie, he keeps coming. He's taken a lot of stick, but he's still there. It's an interesting sign there, just looked over at Fishman's corner. And while they were putting Lenny Dawes' gum shield back in, they were telling him to suck in the air and take deep breaths. It's a sign that he, he's tiring and they know it. Goes for that big left hook there, Fishman, and a miss by a long way. I think his corner feel that he's blowing a bit here, the Finn. Body shot there from Lenny Dawes. with that left hand sometimes Lenny Dawes just tends to drop it a little low and leaves himself open to that right hand he's been caught a couple of times with it again uh, the work rate from Dawes really is in another league compared to his opponent and they must be taking their toll now these punches on Peaceman and keep going back occasionally he will look at his corner but I think they I agree with you, I think he's struggling in there. Remember, Lenny Dawes, the fellow is meant to start slowly. Well, this is a typical contest where you've got to keep your concentration. You know, we're just halfway through this contest, there's another six rounds to go yet. It's all one way traffic, but there's still another six rounds. So it, it's great up to now from Lenny Dawes, but I think his concentration levels are going to be tested more than anything in this contest, if this fella can still stay in there. Might just be a big if, though, as we move to the end of round six of the Lenny Dawes show so far. And he's opening up again at the end of a round. Really eye-catching work there from Dawes. And an eye-catching display so far. 